Hi guys, welcome back to another video, and so soon after the last one, which I think was yesterday, or was it the day before? It's been pretty quick anyway. But there is two games I've got to show, one which I received this morning, and another one which I actually received last week, but I just forgot to put it on the other pickup video, yesterday or the day before, whenever it was. But the purpose of the, this video isn't really the pickups, well it's not the pickups at all, it just so happens I've got them, I might as well show them as soon as I'm making a video. It's because I re uh, received a, a package from a fellow YouTuber. And let me quickly show what it is, because when I show you, you're going to be like, what? I don't understand. It's basically some CDs. Can you even see that? Because the light is really shining in bright. I'm looking at the screen, all I can see is like... I don't know how well it's going to come across, but it looks ridiculous. But, um, but yeah, so basically like a couple of CDs. And um, like I say, it came from someone called Ash, and his username is Ash81B4U. Fantastic YouTuber. Um... I've always said before, whenever I kind of name drop people, I always label them as my favourites. And I, I do have a lot of favourites, what can I say? But he's up there. He's one of them. One of the many favourites I've got. Great guy, really down to earth. I'm sure you're aware of him. If you're not aware of him, I'll put a link um, underneath to his channel. Check it out. And he's just one of, one of them kind of YouTubers. Like I say, one of my favourite kind of YouTubers in the sense that they just come on, they talk about their pickups, and that's it. You know, nothing fancy, nothing clever. Um, no, all right, now and again it's good to mix it up if you, if you do something different. I'm not having a dig at anyone who does something different. I guess I do different things. Um, at least said about the dancing stuff, uh, the better from a few videos back. But yeah, but generally speaking, I just kind of like that. No frills, just come on camera, kind of what I'm doing now. Just do your stuff and then exit and then come back again next time. So anyway, this pickup kind of came, well, not pickup, the um, gift, if you like, kind of came about because. Ash is heavily into his 8-bit machines and his 16-bit uh, machines and other stuff as well, but in particular he loves his Amstrad. Now, the Amstrad for me was a hugely nostalgic piece of kit back in the day and I had it from 86 up until 91 and I used it pretty much religiously. I had intended to stop using it in like 1990 when I got the GX4000 for Christmas, but that was a bit of a disaster and I went back to the Amstrad within a matter of days. Until later on in 91, then I got my ST and then the Amiga and, and the rest is history. But from pretty, pretty much 86 to 91, I used the Amstrad almost on a daily basis. So it was my thing. It's where a hell of a lot of nostalgia lies for me. And as a result of that, there was a magazine back in the day, and this is where it's kind of heading towards this. And that magazine was called Amstrad Action. Now, shockingly, I can't remember if that was an official magazine or not. I, I don't know. I, it may have been, may not have been. I can't remember. But I used to buy it pretty much every month, and I used to absolutely love it. And um, basically, I think, if I remember rightly, I think Ash was doing a video for YouTube, obviously, and maybe he was going over an Amstrad Action magazine. Maybe he's, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I left a comment saying I used to love that magazine and I, I'm going to buy them back one day and the usual stuff. Anyway, so about a week ago, or whenever it was, Ash sent me a PM and he's like, well, I know it's not better than the real thing, you know, actually owning the magazine, but I've got all the magazines on a disc, on CD. And you can obviously look at them on your computer. Do you want it? Do you want me to send it to you? And I was like, well, that would be amazing. Because like I said, the Amstrad to me is hugely nostalgic. Because I spent, you know, from 86 to 91. It's not as if I had it for like a few months. You know, it was like years. Five years. And then I kind of used it a bit afterwards. And, you know, but by then I'd kind of moved on to 16-bit. But still, I kind of now and again went back to it. So I said, yeah, absolutely. That would be great. And, um, and so we sent it. And that's essentially, this is what that is. It's a couple of CDs. Um, I think, and I could be wrong on this one, I think this may be an emulator on this disc because he did mention something, or you did, mate, if I address you personally, you did mention something about um, an Amstrad emulator. So I'm guessing that's what that one is. And this one, obviously, Amstrad Action with the, the magazine um, magazines on there. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that and it's going to trigger a lot of memories and it's going to definitely get me back into um, buying Amstrad games. And it's something I've really wanted to do for a long, long time. And I'm, you know, there's, there's Ash and also Dave, that's Psycho Fox, two amazing YouTubers. Um, and they're really into their 8-bit machines. And, it, and they're kind of a similar age to me. Same age, I guess, really. Give or take. But in that kind of same age bracket. And um, every time I see their games, their 8-bit Amstrad games, I think I, I want to get them again. But the problem being for me, and as, as I've said many times, as you're probably more than aware, is that I live in America. And shipping them over is just going to be very expensive particularly if I buy them in bulk and, and buy them often. And I'm thinking, well, part of me just thinks, well, maybe I should just wait until I move back to the UK or when we move back to the UK. But then when's that going to be? It could be next year, it could be 50 years. And 
I, you know, I don't know what to do. So I'm in a bit of a, there's a bit of a dilemma going on there. You know, I really genuinely, genuinely want to get back into the Amstrad. Um, you know, nothing insane, you know, senile, like a full collection. Just the games I used to have and then a few others here and there, but it's something I want to do, but under the circumstances of, of living over here, where there isn't a lot of Amstrad games, it would mean importing them and it could be pricey, as I say. So I guess I'll cross, you know, that bridge when I come to it, but it's something I really want to do. So that's that. So cheers, Ash. I'm really looking forward to checking that out. And like I said, it's going to trigger a lot of memories and um, it's going to get me back into the Amstrad without question. Your fault and Dave's, both of you. Perry are guilty there. Um, but I'll tell you what made me laugh about this. I won't show you my address like I usually do because I'm stupid like that. But I just, it arrived, like I say, just about an hour or two ago, whatever it was. And um, it's funny because I, I had no idea. I looked at it, it said by airmail, and I thought, well, I've got no idea what that is. And I kind of felt it like through the padding before I opened it up. And I was like, what the hell is this? Didn't have a clue. I was like, it feels like a pair of socks or something because even though it's a CD, it was like kind of in the bubble wrap thing. I thought, like, what the hell? I had no idea. And then I opened it up and obviously and I remembered, oh, of course it was Ash sending the stuff. But what made me laugh is the first thing, I say made me laugh, it's not very funny, but the date, obviously the date that we use in America is different than the US. In the US you put the month first and then the day. So today, for example, the 4th of August would be 8 stroke 4 stroke 11. Whereas over there, it's um, 4 stroke 8. And so when this arrived, I looked at it, it went 0108. And my mind now for the past few years has been tuned into like the American thing. And I looked at it and I went, the 8th of January? Well, that's making me sense. How the hell? And then quickly realised, oh, the 1st of August. All oh, right, right. So basically, the 1st of August is when he sent this. And today's the 4th. This is from, coming from the UK. Mental. How the hell does that arrive so quickly? That's insane. So once again, cheers, Ash. I'm genuinely really looking forward to checking them out. Um, it's going to stir some severe memories. Um, and I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be a great resource. And you're right. You know, it is going to be better actually having the magazine, clearly, like you said. But um, that's going to take a lot of money, you know, getting them all together and a lot of time and all the rest of it. But just for a, you know, a resource point, having everything in one place on the computer, that's going to be amazing. So uh, thank you. Really pleased. And check out Ash's channel um, if you can, because he's a great guy. I'm sure you're aware of him, but if you're not, just please just click on the link. What you've got to do is just click on it and you'll see he's a nice guy. And if that's what you like on YouTube, you know, nice people, then, um, then you'll discover a nice person there. So check him out. Right, so two pickups, and I'm going to kind of relatively quickly go through these because there's not a lot to say about them. Although I am talking, and I could probably drag this out for three hours if I wanted to. First one up, uh, they're both PS3. Um, annoyingly, the Xbox games that I bought still haven't turned up. What's going on there? Now, the first one up is, speaking of things which arrived from overseas, this arrived from Holland. And it's, uh, like I say, both of the PS3, this one is Burnout Ultimate Paradise. Can, again, can you even see it because the glare on the light? Um, Ultimate, what's it called? Ultimate Box. The Ultimate Box. Now, I already have Burnout Paradise on my PS3 hard drive. I bought it the best part of a couple of years ago, but I always wanted to buy it back. Um, as in, you know, the physical entity, because I do like the cases, rather than just a download. And, um, but to my knowledge, this wasn't released. Again, I think the light glare there. This wasn't released in the States. But curiously, it was on eBay.com. And, um... There was a few minutes left, and I thought, I wouldn't mind getting that, actually. And it was only about $8. It, oh, it went for a bit more than that, of course, but um, I stuck a bid in, and then about 10 seconds left, and it was up to 15 I thought, well, I really want it, um, and I haven't seen it for ages. Um, so I'm going to get it, and I put a bid in. I think I won it for, like, $18, give or take, whatever it was. I can't remember. But I didn't realise until after I'd won it that the seller was in Holland. And obviously, he'd use, like, the worldwide thing, so it comes up on eBay.com rather than just... Um, eBay dot Holland or <laughs> whatever it is dot DU for Dutch I guess I don't know whatever so um as soon as I saw that I tried to get out of the deal I was sent him an email I was like I didn't realize you're in Holland um, blah, blah. and then he went oh well the game will still work and then I felt guilty and I thought oh whatever I just paid the shipping wasn't bad it was only like four dollars so it's not as if you're trying to take the piss with the shipping so and I really wanted the game and I, but I was a little bit wary that it was coming from overseas I don't know why um in the scheme of things, it's no different than buying something from America. It's still coming from somewhere else. Uh, so yeah, I went ahead and bought it, and here it is. And I'm just really looking forward to it. Now I think, and I've done no research on this at all, but um, just hazarding a, a little bit of an educated guess, I think this is essentially Burnout, but with all the DLC on it. Or pretty much all the DLC, such as the bikes, obviously, on the front. Once again, the light is kind of glaring there. 
But um, so yeah, the full kind of burnout package. And as I say, repeat myself, but I don't think this was released in America. So it's a nice little extra to have there. So please to get that. Um, last up but not least for this particular pickups video, well, kind of pickup stroke package gift thing, is another one for PS3, as I keep saying, and it's the Prince of Persia limited edition in a little box, as you can see. Pretty decent condition. A couple of scuffs, but nothing, um, nothing outrageous. Now, I haven't got the Prince of Persian game. I'm kind of looking, thinking, I hope I haven't got it, because I've got it twice now. But the one thing that annoys me, it doesn't really come with anything. It's not much of a limited edition, other than the fact that you get a nice little box and a little um, CD, which comes out of there, with bonus content. What that bonus content is without looking, no idea. Whether it's DLC, extra maps, I, no clue. But what annoys me about this, um, there's the game, and obviously it comes boxed with instructions, the usual, the usual drill. But basically, there is nothing on, and I'm just looking, just in case I make myself look a bit silly, but there's nothing on there which says that it's limited edition. That kind of annoys me. I know it shouldn't. In the scheme of things, it's not that important, of course, but I just wish it would have something on there just to say limited edition, you know, so you could easily, easily, <laughs> easily, easily um, tell a difference, you know, between, differentiate, I guess is a better word to use, between this and a limited edition version, but there isn't. So I could go in the store, in GameStop or online, and I could just buy a standalone Prince of Persia, put it next to this one, and it would both be the same. And that to me is a bit silly. I'd, I'd just appreciate it if it said limited edition on it. Just be nice. But anyway, that's that. Pleased to have it in the, uh, back in the collection. And it was only $11, and I think that was including shipping. You can't argue with $11, it's about seven quid. So that's it, guys. A um, couple of pickups. Um, I'll be back, obviously, soon with the usual drill, more pickups and ranting and the usual malarkey. But once again, uh, Ash, thank you very much for this. I'm really appreciative of, of it, and I can't wait to get cracking and bring back some memories with the old Amstrad action. So please check his channel out. Link below. No excuses. Thanks for watching. See you later.